Hello, and welcome back to another video lesson. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to make a fave icon. That's the icon that appears next to the title uh, of a web page in a tab or next to the URL or the address in the address bar. You'll see what we're talking about after we finish this. And the way to do this is to begin in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, we have Photoshop on all the computers in the Media Center at NIC third floor. We also have a couple of copies of Photoshop on the fifth floor of LCJ. Uh, when you open up Photoshop, you want to go to the File menu and say New. You'll get this dialog box. You want to make sure that the width is 32 pixels and the height is 32 pixels. So if it's set to something else, you can set it to pixels. Make sure it's 32 to 32. Uh, I think the only other important thing would be that it's an RGB color mode, but otherwise you can just leave everything else as it is. So click OK, and now you should have this little uh, square right here. It's going to be a very small graphic, so we'll probably have to zoom in here. So I'm going to do a control, hold down the control key, and type plus, and you can see that zooms in. If you hold down the control key and type minus, you'll zoom out. Now, if you have a Japanese language uh, keyboard, then uh, the control plus is a difficult maneuver. So another way to do that is to get the uh, magnifying glass tool. That's in the toolbar on the left, uh, near the bottom. And if you click on that, then you bring the cursor over to that white box. And if you click on it, it should increase in size. If you want to decrease in size, hold down the Alt key and then click and it will decrease in size. You don't need to make it huge, just make it big enough so that you can comfortably work in it. Now this class is web design, so I'm going to create a little icon with a W in it. Uh, there's not much room for much else. Uh, you cannot make a really complex design. So I'm just going to keep it simple. And so the first thing I want to do is fill it with a red color. Now to set your color, you probably uh, could do it easiest by going down here. Again, the toolbar on the left, just under the magnifying glass icon, you'll see two squares. Uh, the top left is usually black, bottom right is usually white, and the top left is the foreground color. So if you just click on that, you'll get a dialog box which allows you to choose your color. So you can go through the different shades of the rainbow over here. I'm going to go down to red, and I'm going to choose a deep red color. Once you've chosen the color that you want, it shows up right here under New. You just click OK. <clears throat> so how do you put that color here uh, in that box? Well, again, we go to the toolbar on the left. And here on the left, you'll see one of the tools is a paint bucket tool. And if you click and hold down, you'll see that there are several different tools. If the tool looks like this, you'll have to change it by clicking and holding down and then choosing the Paint Bucket tool. There we go. So all you have to do is use this tool to click inside the box and there is your color. All right, so now I'd like to make the letter W using white text. But before I do anything else, I want to go into the Character Palette. Now you might see this on the right side of your screen as a little letter A with a line next to it. Uh, you click on it and you get this palette. If you don't see that letter A with a line next to it, you can go to the window menu and one of these will say character. These are in alphabetical order. If there's a check mark next to it, that means it's already open so you can look for it. But if there's no check mark, just click on that and the character palette will appear. I'm going to use the Verdana font. I'm going to make it bold. You can click on this little button down here to make it bold. And I'm going to use 28 point text. So Verdana, 28 point, and here's the bold button. Now I don't want it to be red, so I can click on this color box. It'll give me again the color picker. And I can just go over here to where there's some white. My new color is now white, and I click OK, and now I'm ready to go. So you want to go over to the left, right over here, and there's a text tool. 
Now this uh, uh, type tool here is also one that could change into other types. So we want the one at the top, the horizontal type tool. So, so long as you're sure that that's it, you just uh, click on that and you can see I've got a different cursor here. We're going to go to our box and just create a text box that covers the entire area. You can see that since we set it to 28 pixels, that means uh, the size is about right. And if you just type a capital W, it should appear just like that. So now we want to center that. So the best way to do that is to get out of the text tool. So go to the top of the left toolbar and click on this tool right here. This is the move tool. And now that we have the move tool, you can click and drag it around until it's about in the center. Now we finished creating the graphic. And the way to see it at its regular size is to hold down the control key and type the number 1. That'll make it 100% size, and you can see we have our little W icon right there. It looks much nicer now that it's small. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this for web. So I'm going to go to the File menu and go down to Save for Web. If you like keyboard shortcuts, it's alt Control shift s and when we click on that, we can choose what kind of file we're going to save it as. So over here on the right, you can choose to save it as a GIF, JPEG, but what we want is a PNG. That's a normal type of file for uh, the fave icon. And you can see what size it's going to be. It's a very small file, so it's less than, uh, less than one kilobyte. Uh, and once you're finished, just click on the Save button at the bottom. So I'm going to save it on the desktop where I've got my web page. I'm going to call it, really you can call it anything you want so long as it's .png. And I'm going to call this one uh, Fave. Uh, fave icon is a very, very normal name for this. And so go ahead and save it. All right, so now we can leave Photoshop. You should notice that you've got your Fave icon on your desktop. And so now we've got to go into Komodo Edit. So I've got a web page already partially made here. You can see that I've got it open in all of these browsers. And I have got uh, just the normal doc type HTML head style and body there. So in the head, what we do is that we create a link, a link tag. And in this case, instead of a style sheet, it's rel equals icon. There we go. Uh, we need to give the location, href equals. And since it's in the same folder, they're both on the desktop, I'm just going to give the name of the file, favicon.png. And then finally at the end, I want to say type. And uh, I want to say image slash png and then I end the tag and that's it that's what you need to assign the fave icon so I'm going to save this and I'm going to hide uh, the Komodo edit and so now this file that I just created uses this as a fave icon so if I just click and drag it into uh, for example this one right here you can see that the fave icon appeared in the tab uh, this program right here is Chrome. Uh, this one right here is Firefox. As you can see, there's no fave icon yet, but if I drag this into the browser, a fave icon appears. Next is going to be uh, Opera. So once again, I drag it over here, and sure enough, there's a fave icon. And then finally, we've got Internet Explorer. I drag it over, and it doesn't work. Uh, this is a problem uh, because Internet Explorer, as I explained, uh, very often has difficulties. Uh, it, I believe that uh, Internet Explorer 11 should work. Uh, actually, even in uh, when you use a, a more traditional fave icon file type, it's called .ico, Internet Explorer still has problems. So if it doesn't show up in Internet Explorer, don't worry about it. 
Very, very little seems to work when you're a web designer in Internet Explorer. Um, it doesn't really matter because uh, if you you notice that the page works very, very uh, well in Internet Explorer, you just don't get the fave icon. Uh, and that's just fine. People just won't see that icon in Internet Explorer, uh, which is what you can expect if you use that browser. Uh, now, I'm not trying Safari because Safari, as I said, is kind of outdated in, uh, uh, on uh, Windows. It doesn't work uh, in this Safari, but it will work in Safari, uh, Chrome, Firefox, and Opera uh, on the Macintosh. Uh, so there are seven browsers on which it will work, seven out of nine. Only Internet Explorer uh, might have problems with it if it's an older version, uh, and Safari... Uh, might not show it either if you're using the Windows version. Uh, but that's how you make a fave icon. Make sure it's a PNG file. Make sure that you uh, have created the file correctly using uh, Photoshop uh, or some other graphics program. Save it as a PNG, and you should have your own little fave icon. And that's it for this lesson.